great this thing. Okay, I've been, I've been really, I took, I took my time to watch this, and I kind of, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not going to say I'm a huge fan of this, but I really like uh, this from the very beginning that I saw it, but I kind of lost track of it because, you know, it really just, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I just kind of jumped ship. But I want to talk about Stranger Things, uh, directed by the Duffer Brothers, who did it, and the 2015 film, The Hidden, and, and okay, these guys are really, they're really into the 80s. This movie, this show is set in the 80s, down to the opening intro, as well as the music, and the style, and the look, it's very E.T., the extraterrestrial look, and you could trace a lot of different stuff, cultural references on this show, but what I, I, this is not actually a review about the about season one or season two. I want to review Stranger Things because I am just an 80s addict. I am an 80s kid. I love the 80s. I was raised in the 80s. I saw a lot of things change in the 80s. And, and when you see something like this, uh, a, a couple of directors, un, relatively unknown by me, go and do a show like this and uh, and ha has, has such great performances as well as uh, probably one of the best performances on the film is the girl with the special powers as well as Renona Ryder. And and, we, and earlier on, we've seen Renona Ryder go through a lot of crap in her career and a lot of downtime. There's been a lot of, of really a decline in her career. In her career. So what, what do actors do when they, their career starts to kind of get stale a little bit and certain controversies cause them to go back to either television or uh, even... Um, Netflix originals like this. So I really think Stranger Things is probably one of the best, most original. And I say that kind of loosely because it's not original. It is original to me because it's it's done so well. It's from the opening credits to the acting, the clothes, the hairstyles, even the scenes. You can really pick this apart. And this, it's really accurate to the 80s. and 80s are always going to live in our hearts. A lot of us, even people, I, I hear, I see so many uh, on YouTube, the comments below, a lot of, a lot of uh, younger people love the 80s music. They love the 80s TV shows. They love the 80s movies. And they, this is really 80s accurate to me. And I, that's why I love it. I love Stranger Things. But yeah, <laughs> I kind of jumped ship because it kind of lost me. But it, I really think that Stranger Things was more, it should have been more of a, a direct to film. It should have been a film transferred onto the big screen instead of a show, even though they, there's so many ideas and so many different things going on within the series. And yeah, I didn't see the whole thing yet because, like I said, they kind of lost me a little bit because I just kind of lost interest. I kind of watched the season one and I saw, but like I said, this is not about season one or season two. This this uh, is just talking about why I like Stranger Things. Stranger Things is probably, uh, there needs to be more shows like this. It really, I really hope to see more films like this because you see a lot of 80s references and, and the recent X-Men films and, and, and even movies uh, as old as uh, going back to The Wedding Singer. So it's really, we need to preserve that everybody loves the 80s, even though the 80s can be, we're very cheesy, and it, it, the music at times is really funny, and uh, probably one of the best performances on the, everybody's really good on the film. I mean, the kids, it's like you're going to see them ride their bikes, and, and uh, E.T.'s with them, and, and tow, and they're going to go up into the sky, and really, it, and that's what the, the cast is a lot like, and I really think when I know, when I know the writer did a extremely powerful performance as the uh, in the in season one where she loses her son and she thinks he's dead so you really get to see her showcase her talent this woman is talented and i think uh acting gets better with age as well as uh reviewers <laughs> so i really think as well as the the little girl with the special powers i really think this this is a really a really good uh series that really needs it should be transferred in the film maybe we'll see you never know maybe 10 years we'll see a stranger things uh full-length feature film and i really hope that they honor this film because a lot of you know you've seen that you've seen it happen so many times okay if you okay what do you think about stranger things did you have you seen the 
season one and season two. You guys could decapitate me on the comments below because I didn't. I kind of lost track of it because, like I said, there's uh, you know other shows, other movies, and other things have gotten my attention recently. So, but I really, like I said, this is not a review of season one or season two. This is this saying I'm just praising how good the show really is. And on the comments below, let me know. What you liked about the about Stranger Things? What do you love about the '80s? What what '80s references did you really like, including the song by Toto uh, that's on there? So many different songs. And subscribe, support this blog, share this video, comment below, let me know, give me your feedback. You know, it, 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 it's this is innovative. This is this is a, a YouTube channel, so you got feel free whether it's, it's positive or negative. Let me know. Because I'm here for you guys. All right. Okay. I will see you guys real soon. Thank you.